You're kidding. No, lost I, I've lost all the footage off my DSLR. Right, so it's half past four on Wednesday. Um, the challenge is, it's a 24 hour challenge. I've got 50 models, I think it's 48 actually, but there's 25 guardsmen and then there's eight weapons teams, but they've got between two and three models per team. So I'm gonna to have to pull out some proper batch painting techniques to get anywhere close to them done. Around an hour a model is pretty acceptable for Praetorian Guard. Lachlan's doing uh, Vestroyans, which is going for a very similar colour as well. So it's all golds, reds, whites, blues. He's painting them very similar, so we're all using the same colours. If you don't know who he is, there are links below, check him out. But anyway, let's get these primed, let's get them sorted, and let's get cracking. So first off, I sort out my paint grippers. So I've got a base with a tongue depressor on it. And that means I can stick up to five models per stick. And what I do is I organize all the models. So if they're the same or similar. And put them all in a row. So when I'm batch painting, I'm painting the same model or near as the same every time, which will improve speed. For priming, I just hit them with a bone. And then I hit them over the top with a white for when I come in with the contrast paints later. Right, so I'm about ready to start. I hope Lachlan's not sleeping in on the job, because that would be annoying. Ooh. Oh, shit. Ugh. That'll be him. You all right, man? Good morning. You all right? <laughs> good morning. It's good night. How you feeling, Mr. 10 p.m.? I'm already on fuel. I'm already on fuel. <laughs> already I'm on the fuel. I'm still waking up, and you're uh, you're in the long hours. Um, yeah, I've already done a what 14 hour shift. So yes, all my models are ready. Are we going to get started? Because it's about time, isn't it? What time is it? Uh, it's it's quarter to six, uh, quarter to seven my time. Quarter, quarter to seven. seven. Quarter to ten. So. We'll get drinks and we'll uh, we'll get cracking. I'll ring you in about an hour once I've finished. Sick. Let's go. Yeah. Good luck. If you're wondering why there's painted models at the back, it's because I lost the footage, as I said at the beginning. It's very relevant to this video, so stay tuned to find out what actually happened and why it's pretty funny. But anyway, as you can see, I'm painted quite regimented. So for speed painting, this is what you need to do. I'm using contrast paint as well. I'm, using, I'm trying a different way of painting with them. I'm putting all the base coats down with mainly contrast paints. And when I paint the back of a model, and with them all being identical or as near as, when you do one back, by the second time you're doing the same again on the next back, same again on the third back, you're getting slightly quicker every time and more efficient at it. However, these base coats don't have to be very neat, but it is a very quick way of doing it. I'm not going down to the pot as often because uh, I'm just loading my brush and throwing it on. Um, so it's a very efficient way of painting. I do exactly the same way with the trousers. Don't worry too much if I overlap it as long as I don't go into the red coat and vice versa. But just paint the fronts of the trousers on all five models, spin it round and do exactly the same on the back. And then same with like guns, ammunition packs, whatever you're doing, just paint one, then paint the next one. Exactly the same each time. And it, this did save me quite a lot of time. I got all these base coats done in about an hour and a half. Hey dude. Hey dude, you alright? How are we getting on? Uh, well, how, uh, depends on how you're getting on. I have gotten step one <laughs> finished on all of the first batch, so that's... 24 dudes is all the base colors down and you're going onto the wash yeah <laughs> now step one is all of the red down all oh, right okay. uh, and, and and four more base colors to go um how how uh, how are you traveling over I've there i've got all the red done cool i've got all the blue done <laughs> i've got okay. all the shoes done and i've got all the guns done okay so you're a little you're a little bit ahead just a little bit. I gotta smash these troops out. What's your twelve-hour goal for your this first chunk? You just you want this big batch of troops first done? Chunk, I want just get all the all the base coats down and the wash on. I'd like all to get third. them finished. On all third. 
Bloody on Orthodox. I'd like to get them finished in 12. Yeah. But I don't know. Right. Well, my, my initial goal was to do this whole squad in the first 12 hours, which is, yeah, 24 of, like, the, the just troopers. No specials, no command, no kind of heavy or anything. So that's that's looking a little... That's worrying at the moment. We're a third of the way through, right? Four hours in, and I've got the red done. Well, well, we'll see. We'll see. Let's let's stop this yeah. talking. You're putting me off. Yeah, I'm gonna I, we, I gotta smash the metallics. All right, let's check in soon, dude. Catch you in a bit. I was actually lying to Lachlan when I said I'd done the boots, but I was just trying to apply a bit of psychology to stress him out a bit. I hope he doesn't mind. <laughs> but anyway, getting the boots done, just batch painting as before, left to right. They've got the boots done in about 20 minutes on all 30 models, which is pretty impressive. And then from that, I went and started doing all the other base coats because uh, we're getting quite close to the wash step now. I just tidied up the belts. Uh, I went in and did like the pith helmets and just tidied up where I'd slipped with the contrast. Got everything ready for the wash step. Right, well, I've got skin colours to do now. It's 10 past four. So, halfway, and I've just got the skin colours to do, and then I'm putting a wash over the whole thing, um, and then I'm going to pick out a couple of colours. So once I've done that, I'm, I'm on the home stretch, because the highlight step's not a long process for the, the level and quality that I'm going for. It's just a nice, just touch up, clean it up, make it look acceptable. I am aching, I'm tired. Um, I had my second wind about 2am, which is not a good time to have a second wind, because <laughs> it was at the start, um, but I'm, I'm getting there, and I'll probably give Lachlan a ring in a minute and see how he's doing, but I'll catch him in a bit. Now I always get excited about the wash part, because it ties everything together, and I always think it's a very quick step. It took me nearly an hour and a half to get the wash on, equally across all the models. Because when you're applying a wash, you're not just chucking it on and letting it settle. You're putting it all on and then you're coming back and mopping up where there's excess. You're cleaning your brush off and you're soaking up the pooling areas. It actually takes a lot longer than what you think. It just, because it's simple and you're not being tidy with it, I feel like people think it's a lot quicker step than it actually is. Now, what the quick step was, was just applying like a base coat of red here and bringing it up. And all I'm doing is using uh, Scale 75 Red, I think it is, Bright Red. I'm just touching up, same with the Pith Helmets, just going on with an Ivory and just trying to leave the recesses. I might take these up again depending on time schedules later. But this step was a hell of a lot quicker than the wash step, which to me was quite shocking. I'm actually highlighting, I've been very careful and been very steady. But the thing is you're not doing complete coverage, you're literally just picking the higher areas out like on the trousers. Even going up to an orange on the coat, I was feeling that in front that I just carried on highlighting more than I originally thought I would. So I actually took these up a little bit higher than I originally thought I was going to do in the thing place. I was feeling very confident at this time, so I did spend a bit more time on the models. However, I was still under 10 hours at this point, so I had two hours left technically. But I thought, you know what I'll do? I'll sign off two hours early, get an early night, wake up the next day and get some editing done. Morning, dude. How do? You all right? Yeah, I'm, I'm okay. It's a, another early start with a 12-hour block ahead. Uh, how about you? Um, I uh, came upstairs and I thought, you know what I'll do? <laughs> I'll get my footage onto my computer and I'll I'll do a bit of editing, and then nice. I got the and then I got the footage off my DSLR. Guess what? What? It corrupt. You kidding? No, you lost I, it. I've lost all the footage off my DSLR. So all the close no, footage, all the no. all the B roll, all the me setting up, I've lost it all. Yeah. I've gone through recovery oh, software. I've spent I've spent all day trying to recover it, and it it's gone. It's gone. Cards, hey? Yep. Brew. All right. Well, what's on the menu for you today then? <laughs> so in the twelve hours, I will paint five more models and touch up little bits that I need to do, fix my video. In my final twelve hours, so in in okay. twenty in twenty four hours, I've done thirty models, 
35 models actually. Yeah. Save a video from catastrophic failure. What have you done? Um, well, so far, <laughs> 24 guys, about half base coded. <laughs> so now, let, let's just get this right for the viewers. So now, for me to win, I'll need to finish all these 24 and then another five and then edit the video and upload it before you can. Mm. No, you st- no, 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 you, you've got you've got to paint 35. Oh, 35? So I've got to do another nine? I've got 30 <laughs> because I, I'm going to paint <laughs> five more on camera so I can save this goddamn video. <laughs> All right, dude, well, good luck. Let's, let's get, get into it. Let's get cracking. See you in a sec. So I spent the next couple of hours just painting the five up on camera just so I could save the video. I was papping it. I thought I'd wasted a hell of a lot of time, uh, but I managed to save it and get some footage, so I'm very happy for that. Hey, dude. How do we, all right? Oh, uh, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm getting there. I'm crunching through. How are you going? I'm going to bed. You're going to bed? Mm-hmm. So you've finished your, your extra five? I've finished my whiskey, and I've finished my extra five. Very nice. How, much, how much time have I got left now? So you've, you're cocking off. Is that, is that seven hours early? Yeah. I only got seven hours. That can't be the time. That's that. That's the time. All right. So I've got I've got eight guys who are ready to be washed. So you've not <laughs> you've, you've not even put primer on them yet. <laughs> no, I got I got eight guys fully base coated. I got sixteen more to finish base coating. That's going to take me at least two hours. Then I'm going to wash them all. That's going to take an hour. Then I'm going to then I've got to do all the highlights on the metallics. That the silver's quick, but the gold is not quick. That's like another two hours. What am I up to? That's five hours. And then I'm going to have two hours for skin, hats, and when I inevitably take longer to do the first three things I just said. I don't know if I'm going to get these based, let alone they've finished. I can do it. Step it out. I just got to be efficient. I got to be. I got to be like you know. I can do it. I'm hopeful. I'm definitely not touching another model. I think it's it's only these guys. But right, well, I need to um, I need to get moving. Yeah, you do. Mm. So what's your, what's your next step? So next, I just got to finish the step. I'm still in. So I got to. I'm, I'm putting down my my greys and um, all the browns. I forgot. On I'm the just straps. keeping you talking. Hey, shut up! Sit <laughs> 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 oh, a bit. Back to painting. Hey, dude. Hey, man, you all right? So, in 24 hours, I've started editing my video. I fixed my vi- well, I fixed my video. I've started editing my video, and I've got 35 done. And the extra five was so I could fix the video. So I'm I'm quite happy with my uh, position, and I've had a good good sleep. I went to bed at four. I was yeah. only on the phone, only on the phone last night to slow you down. <laughs> Quite an impressive record, I have to say. 24 hours of painting and a big 12-hour run today is the most painting I've done in months. Well, that's that's an, that's, an, that's an achievement. At least you know that you can sit down for that period of time and actually do it. I don't think I'll be able to sit down for a week, um, <laughs> and I might be able to write for a week either. My hand is like. <laughs> but yeah, so how have you done? How indeed, Luke. How indeed. Well, you're going to have to tune into Lachlan's channel to find out. Links below. Because of all the time that I didn't actually spend painting in this 24 hour challenge, I finished basing them. If you want to see how I made these bases uh, and how I even made some custom tufts to put on them, check out the videos in the links um, and that'll show you how I did these bases in no time at all. I do the bases first because it inspires me to get my models done. Now as you can see, they're not perfect. There is some rough bits, there is some bits that need a little touch up, especially on the banner bearer. But for the 10 hours that I put into them, I know I can paint another 30 because my army's got 60 in total. So I'll just do another couple of hours a night to get the other 30 done. And then once they're all laid out on the table and looking great, I'll go in there, I'll fix them. 
It's nice to know that I don't have to spend hours per model. I can actually just sit down, batch paint and get it done a hell of a lot quicker than I would just painting one or two models. I really enjoyed it. And seeing them all together like this makes me, makes me happy. And that's what it's about. Don't forget to check out Lachlan's video, all links to Zorpazort will be below where you can go and watch and see how he did. If you really like this video guys, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and Geek Gaming Scenics are currently having a 15% sale when you spend over £50 with UK free shipping. So check that link below guys and you can make yourself some lovely bases. I'll see you for the next video. Oh,